Be humane. Save lives at sea. Respect the law. Duty to render assistance to any person found at sea in danger of being lost. Article 98 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. On the 18th of October 2013, after a large shipwreck took place in front of Lampedusa, Italy starts Mare Nostrum, a humanitarian and military search and rescue operation to safeguard human life in the central Mediterranean. More than 150,000 people's lives are saved. But on the 31st of October 2014, Italy ends the Mare Nostrum operation due to the lack of support of the European Union. It is replaced by a European border control operation called Triton. Despite the lack of rescue ships, people continue trying to escape Libya. Thousands of men, women and children drown. Since the creation of SOS Mediterranean, we keep on calling for a reinforcement of a search and rescue capacity at sea that would bring survivors to a place of safety following international law. In 2014 and 2015, search and rescue NGOs are created by European citizens to fill the void left by the states. On the 3rd of February 2017, European heads of state met in Malta and signed the Malta Declaration, where they decided to train, equip with boats and finance the Libyan Coast Guard. It also led to the creation of a Libyan search and rescue region coordinated by the Libyan Coast Guard on the 27th of June 2018. But the Libyan Coast Guard intercepts the dinghies and brings them back to Libya, where the survivors face the risk of torture, rape and slavery. Or they die. Rescue implies that the people assisted should be delivered to a place of safety. A place of safety is a location where the survivor's safety of life is not threatened, where their basic human needs can be met and from which transportation arrangements can be made for the survivor's next destination or final destination, taking into account the protection of their fundamental rights in compliance with the principle of non-refoulement. Is Libya a place of safety? No. Has the law been respected? Not respected. Moreover, because of the difficulties to coordinate with the dysfunctional Libyan Coast Guard, rescues are less effective and more people drown. Since June 2018, following the arbitrary closure of Italian ports, rescue ships remain stranded at sea for days or weeks waiting for an authorization to disembark rescued people in a place of safety. International conventions oblige all ships to fully respect the human dignity of the survivors. Has the law been respected? Not respected. Stranded ships are not able to assist people in distress at sea. In the meantime, more people are at risk of drowning. According to the law, European states must set up a predictable and effective system for disembarking survivors to a place of safety. Civil ships conduct legal search and rescue operations. However, they are harassed through administrative, political and judicial measures, blocked and prevented from rescuing. Our ship, the Aquarius, was stripped of its flag twice in two months in 2018 due to political pressure. Without a flag, a ship cannot sail. There is a legal duty to render assistance to people in distress at sea. Not respected. Blocking search and rescue NGOs is neglecting the duties and obligations of states and shipmasters to rescue people in danger at sea. Less and less rescue ships are available to assist boats in distress in the central Mediterranean and more people drown. B.
be humane. Save lives at sea. Respect the law.